excuse me. When I look at the original, it's Kiahikuni uh, i ke kau onohi, the granddaughter of Kamehameha the first, that this aupua uh, that was originally awarded to. Do we have any uh, idea what the original size and expense of that aupua or land patent was? I think I have a number here too. Mm. I don't have that information at this time, perhaps. Okay, I, I'm gonna have someone yeah. here that might have, an, or give me a ballpark would be good too. And if you are gonna yeah. um, speak, you need to come to the testifier table. Please. Madam Chair, point of information. If we do get that, can we get copies for all members so we know what they're talking about? Okay. Okay. In fact, it's on their website. Oh, I think your microphone went off. It's on their website. Akalau history. Okay, so <laughs> you know this it's a really important area. Um, it's the Battle of Kekuhau Pio and Kamehameha. But whereas in 1791, it's a very important battle. It's our family lineage from the Maui side and Kamehameha's. And the whole Ahupua after Kikau Onohi, uh, her husband inherited and had to, uh, well, it seems, I guess, according to this, uh, um, he had to auction it off. but. Uh, that time, land patents were not sellable. That's another interesting point to bring up. Nobody owned land that time, before, prior. We were stewards of the land. So, you want to keep with history. Let's talk about that. I don't like to go that far back. I love to go that far back. Been to countries, 500 years. The building's still there. They're still making the same beer in the same fast. It's the difference between a very, I would say, seasoned, well, older country as opposed to what we currently have. But I digress. The cultural and significant value of this property is no argument of what that is. I can see Mr. Shropshire's point in wanting to have everything together, because I think that would be important too. Um, part I get up, um, and it's concern. I mean, if we're willing to pay money again, which is a lot of money, considering nowadays that land prices have gone really high. And I, we've heard testimony when many individuals cannot afford the property that was out there. You know, it's funny, when I first came back from uh, Germany, property is 50 acres selling for $250,000. Remember that? Not too long ago. Two hundred fifty thousand now, and now they're like one million plus. We wonder why. Wonder why our families cannot afford. Why is that? 